Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? I am Kara. I like talking about makeup, beauty, and skincare here in my channel. As in, I'm obsessed with them. And sometimes I go overboard kind of and that impacts my financial health. This channel is all about trying to create a balance with my collection at least. And so this video is somewhat into that. Whenever I see new makeup releases, I want to talk to someone whether or not they're gonna buy it do we do i think that it, do we think that it's boring is it good is it bad am i interested in it uh, so i want to talk about new makeup releases without purchasing them so new makeup releases add it to cart ba oh hindi if you like these types of content please do subscribe to my channel as well as clicking on that notification bell right beside so that you get notified whenever i make new videos now let's get started This video idea is not new. I've seen it from my idol, na si Samantha March. She's one of the YouTubers that I've been watching for years and years now. This is one of the videos that I want to do ever since that I started my YouTube channel. Pero hindi lang talaga ako na inganya kasi I'm not really sure if this and is anyone you know interested in this. Bakal gusto lang talaga nila is review and swatches. But here it's really just my opinion here. Ngayon ganyo ako to do this because I saw my friend. Jean Tan Ransom also watching Samantha March. So para oh I want to do this video too. I'm not really sure how often I'm going to release this as a series because it depends on how many products can I talk about in one video. Let's see na lang. I'm I'm I plan to make this into a series but I don't know how often. So yeah, these are just really my opinions to each their own, iba-iba ang opinions natin, iba-iba ang makeup tastes natin. If I find something boring or disappointing, uh, please don't get offended because it's really just makeup. We can still be friends, right? I am going to move on this side and then I have space here to put pictures, etc. First product that I want to talk about that I did buy, <laughs> di ba siya dumarating sa akin, is the Virago Palette. So this is the Virago Cosmetics Prologue Palette. So it's a pastel palette with nine shades, nine mattes, and one glitter shade in the middle. This is 995 pesos. Kaka-release lang, I think, around this within this week when I'm filming this. The theme of this makeup brand is super intriguing. It's a very new brand. It's a local brand, of course. Y yung theme niya is like an RPG adventure game, ganon. And alam niya naman, if you've been here in my channel, you know that my name, Carrot Stick, is actually derived from my in-game name in Dota. So I do play Dota and my name there is Carrot Stick. And I love the theme, I love the packaging, I love the concept. I am very happy that it's a pastel palette, it's colorful, it's something that I like. I've never seen a brand come out with a pastel palette and I love that it's only 9 pans. Hindi siya super super malaking palette na 30 shades ganun. So right now, it's at 995 pesos pero that's like an introductory price. Ang usual price niya is around 1,200 ata or something. I'm gonna put the details along below in the products link in the product links if I can find them so that you can follow along. And the next product that I wanna talk about is newly released lang. This is somewhat newly released. I do have it here with me and that is Hello Bloom Beauty's Future Blush. So, yan siya, blush serums. There are three products in here. We have Sun Baked, we have Good Mood, and see si Glow Though. So, these are the three products that we have here. And by the way, I'm using Glow Though. So, ayan siya. You can see, I love the shade. Um, I haven't really formed my full thoughts on this yet, pero abangan nyo na lang. Sobrang mura niya, 195 pesos for 15 ml of product, and it's a skincare and makeup hybrid. You know, ang dami talaga lumalabas na blush these days. And I'm just happy that the Hello Bloom Beauty's Future Blush is of a different sort of, you know, hindi siya usual clay blush. So there is six skincare ingredients here. There is niacinamide, which you know is good for pore care and oil control, ganyan. That's really good. And also alantuan. So it soothes and protects the skin. Tapos yung cucumber and aloe vera extract. So that's really good for, you know, soothing the skin, hydrating, ganyan. We also have chamomile, which also heals and improves the skin texture texture and also vitamin E 
which reduces the skin damage caused by UV rays kasi antioxidant siya. It's super pigmented and ganito yung texture niya. A, a small dot goes a long way and then you just yeah, spread it out, put it to your blush and ganyan. This is sun baked. And moving on, we have Issy & Co. Grabe, Issy & Co. Nag-release sila ng... Oh my gosh, as in talagang I'm salivating over this product release kasi I am such a fan, such a fan of their cream blush and yung lip mousse nila, they released three shades for each for each product line. So sa cream blush, let's go with that one first. Well, I think 349 pesos siya and they released three new shades. They have Malibu, which is a sun-kissed hot coral. So parang, it seems like fever but with shimmer. And then si Brunette, which is a warm biscuit shade. So parang, I think pwede siya for contour. I don't know, but it looks really nice. And I wanna try it that out. And ayon. And then we also have Tutu, which is a shimmer, shimmering gilded rose. From the pictures itself, mukhang light peachy shade si Tutu. And may shimmers din siya out of all the three that they released. Like, Malibu talaga yung gusto kong itry because I wanna try that out. Is it is it is it a bronzer shade? Ganon. I really wanna try that out. And then also they released three new shades in sa lip mousse. We have Sweet Talk, which is a darling MLBB peach. We have Fatal, which is a sultry rose mauve. And all that na it's a nude soap shade ayan. Actually, with these three new shades, I am leaning towards Sweet Talk because. I like my MLBBs and nahihirapan talaga ako honestly to know the difference between Fatal, all that and yung mga other dark shades nila from before. Kasi I don't know, hindi, parang hindi ko siya nakikita masyado yung difference. I am kind of iffy whether or not I should get it but I am out of all the three, my heart is with Sweet Talk. So yun, gusto ko talaga matry to. Oh my god, 399 pesos yan. It's already available in Lazada and as well as dun sa Shopee site nila. I'll link it down below for you guys for convenience if you wanna get that too. Pero ayan, I'm really happy that they release new shades here. I wish that they will release more shades kasi sobrang ganda talaga ng lip mousse and yung cream blush nila. As in, it's the best. The next one that we have here is yung Holiday Kits ng Glossera. Ayan, if you can see that, they released three holiday sets. Each of them contains like a velvet lip cream, tapos yung gloss nila, tapos may pouch. The pouch is actually made by a gown designer, which is Milo Campo. Sinadya talaga yan. Rest assured na hindi siya mass-produced. It's good quality. And I'm really, just really happy that they're you know, supporting a local industry then the I'm pretty sure impacted heavily by the pandemic. You have the option to buy the pouch on its own, which is 229 pesos. Yung Glamat Work Set, so out of dun sa three sets nila, 409 pesos ang Glamat Work Set. And that contains three products inside. And that has like a uh, mini sexy bear gloss, meron silang coral na gloss there, as well as yung nude peach na velvet lip cream. And then we also have Pink Party, which is another set. Siyempre, Mon Cherry lip gloss yung nandyan. And as well as yung Pink Posh Velvet Lip Cream. Tapos, magkani yan? That is 399 pesos. Ayan, 399 pesos yung Pink Party. And then, 399 pesos din yung Love from Venice na set, which contains Dusky Rose na lip gloss and yung Rosette na lip cream. So, ayan, sobrang bonga. It, it's a, such a nice gift. As in, ang ganda lang talaga ng pouch. I wish I have the pouch too, but yeah. Yan, yeah, ganda lang talaga niya. Medyo malaki-laki yung pouch. I think like this big yung pouch. Pack na pack talaga for holidays. So, the next product that we're gonna talk about is something na I'm happy that they release it, pero parang hindi ako interested. So, this is Glam Skin Manila and Leticia Velasco collaboration na eyeshadow palettes. They released two eyeshadow palettes. One is for glam and one is for skin. So, sa glam and skin Glam contains colorful eyeshadows. I think it contains 32 shades. And then sa skin, it's more of neutrals, mga ganun. And 32 shades din siya. I, upon checking this Shopee yesterday, uh, it's 899 pesos and currently sold out siya. So, wow! Yay! Congrats for Leticia. That girl doesn't need any more introduction. Like She's such a well-known beauty vlogger. And I'm really happy for her with this collaboration. Pero... 
this collaboration just really didn't strike me or hindi ako na pa hindi ako na attract masyado. I'm just really happy that she released colorful eyeshadows for sure. Pero masyado lang kasi siyang malaki and I don't know where to store it and I don't need that many eyeshadows na in one big pan kasi I like my palettes to be small. I'm just happy na mukhang maganda siya, mukhang maganda yung quality. I haven't really tried Glam Skin Manila's palettes yet. So, hindi ko alam kung paano yung quality niya. But, ayun, I'm just really happy that they release an eyeshadow palette kasi konti lang talaga yung brands na nag-release ng eyeshadow palette. So, I'm just really happy that they release, at least they release an eyeshadow palette kahit na hindi ko siya ganun kabit. It's not something, it's not that I don't like Leticia or any of those brands. It's just that hindi na talaga siya para sa akin. Like, hindi ko siya taste. It doesn't fit my wants and needs. So, yeah, I'm just, I think 899 pesos for 32 shades is alright. And ito, something na I feel like I might get. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get this or not. But this is Colorette's Shimmer Tints Reformulated. In new packaging, same price for 349 pesos. Tada! Ayan, pinanood ko yung video ni Miss Nina from her YouTube, and nakita ko ko ano yung difference between the old shimmer tints, which is in the bottle na brush na parang nail polish yung yung product, and like sa separate separate pa yung pigments niya, and then yung bago, which is more of like a cream parang cream or moussey, thicker daw yung texture niya. Mas pigmented kasi I think mas concentrated yung pigmentation kasi mas even siya. And I'm really intrigued by this. I'm really curious like how different is it. Pero the thing is, I have so many highlighters! Oh my gosh! As in, kaka-declutter ko lang. At this time, I decluttered my blush and cheek collection and I saw my highlighters, how many they were like it's more than what I need and more than what I will use in a lifetime. But will I still buy makeup? Probably yes, but because it's really what I like and what I do here on YouTube. I try to be really, really mindful of what to buy and what not to buy. But this one, I really want to get... I really want to get rose quartz. I really want to get rose quartz. I had all three of these shimmer tints from before, so see Yellow Diamond. Crystal, no, hindi, hindi ko binili si Crystal Prism. Si Rose Quartz and then si Tiger's Eye. I had all three of them in the old formula and I decluttered all of them kasi I, I just didn't like the formula so much. I didn't like the suspension formula. I just don't think it works with shimmers. So, mabuti na lang na nireformulate nila into a much more creamy texture na mas even yung application. Gets nyo? And... Out of all those of four shades, I want to get Tiger's Eye and I want to get Rose Quartz. However, with Tiger's Eye, kasi I already have this one from Dear Self Beauty. Yung iris nila na... Where is it? Meron na kasi ako neto, yung Dear Self Beauty na iris. And this one's also gorgeous. So, I am not inclined to buy Tiger's Eye. Kasi parang ganito na siya eh. So, hindi ko na siya magiget. I'll just probably get yung Rose Quartz because wala talaga ako masyadong pink, white, pink, white, parang pink, pink na highlighter na nag-shift to like white, pearly shimmers. I don't know. I might just get one. Maybe just get one. 349 pesos lang naman siya. I think it's reasonable quality that color it has. I think it's reasonable naman. So yes, I'm pretty excited here. Right now, I don't know when will they release it. But I hope soon. You know, I hope soon. They've been teasing this for a while. I hope that they release it soon. Right, the next one that we shall be talking about is another blush from Detail Cosmetics. This is their Velvet Flush. This is Detail Cosmetics in collaboration with Ray Hermar and May Layog. They released six shades. Ang um, nagaganda yung shades, but they all somewhat lean towards the warmer side. This is an interesting formula. Like, na intriga talaga ako kasi how soft will it this be? Kasi sabi nila it's super soft. It melts in your hands daw. Is it like a potty highlighter and it's a dome? You can use it for your eyes, lips, and cheeks. Hindi siya parang clay blush. It seems like parang powdery nga siya na. I don't know. I'm just intrigued with the texture, really. And it seems like it's at a reasonable price of 249 pesos. So parang, I kind of want to buy it. Like, I've been eyeing on Lucas. 
that shade is beautiful. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna buy it because ang dami ko talagang blush. Ang tagal-tagal pang ubusin ng blush. So, I don't think I'll be able to buy it, but mm, Yeah, I'm just I'm just so unsure with it yet, but I'm almost there. Uh, I decluttered my most of my blushes and ang dami ko talagang blushes, so I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. How about this one? This one is super interesting because hmm, it's a new brand. It's a Day Beauty and they released their lip duet. So it comes on a lipstick. Dun sa bullet lipstick on one side and then isang side. It's like a pigmented lip gloss from the swatches that I've seen. This one looks really nice and it's 495 pesos for both. I can say that 495 for two products in one it's reasonable um a little up there but i think it's reasonable six shades so they have crush which is a muted pink good for everyday dao and then we also have chill which is a peach nude and then we also have date which is a mauve pink we have vibe next which is an edgy plum pink now and then yung si bomb which is a uh, deep ruby red and as well finally si cherry which is a uh, true cherry red now so out of all the shades that i've seen i feel like i am leaning towards date and chill i think na i like i like neutral tones okay but <laughs> bihira kong mag wear ng really colorful lips. I like to keep my eyes colorful and interesting for my lips. I like to like tone it down a little bit para balance sila. Will I buy it though? It's interesting. I'm really happy that they release something new to the market or at least something innovative dun sa market na sobrang saturated na. Uh, I like that they released the bullet lipstick. I like that they released as well a lip gloss two in one and that lip gloss is pigmented because this girl likes pigmented lip gloss and I'm really happy about that. But will I buy it though? I don't think I will because I have a lot. Like I have a lot of lipsticks. I have a lot of lipsticks. I have only one lips. I cannot use all my lipsticks for sure. And I want to use most of the stuff that's in my collection. At least give them some love before buying new ones. I'm so quota na talaga ako. I really think that this is an interesting product. And because of that, I have my eye on Heyday Beauty. So I'm looking forward to their next releases because they seem like an interesting brand. Okay, so... How about this one for the local brand? This one is from Sunny's Face and they released their face glass which is a light catching liquid luminizer and it has three shades. Ayan, it, uh, it has, uh, how much is this? It's 45, 445 pesos each and they have three shades which is Barbarella, they have Cosmic Girl and Nova. So Barbarella is a lilac for a holographic gleam. Hindi talaga siya holographic guys. Um, but Cosmic is a pink quartz for an iridescent glow and then meron ding Nova which is like gold champagne sort of thing. And when I saw this, mukhang maganda siya. Very skin-like yung texture niya and very natural lang siya tignan. I am interested in this product but it's from Sunny's face. Um, <laughs> I don't wanna... I, I know that this is a sensitive topic for all, pero kasi I'm all, I'm all for supporting local, to be honest. I'm all for supporting local, but the owners or the people behind the brand, I am not fully 100% quit. We can have different points of views, and I know that it's a, this is just makeup. I want to support people who I want to support. So, parang with that, in that sense, I am not inclined to buy anything from Sunny's Face kasi I... I feel like there's like a lot of controversial going behind the owners of the brand. I don't want to dwell into this much, but uh, ayon, um, if you want to support Sunny Space, then go ahead, please do. Um, it's really up to you. This is just really my personal choice. I have friends who love Sunny Space, but ni naman kami nagaaway and. Kanya -kanya lang talaga. <laughs> I'm still willing to tell you guys if you know, maganda yung product or not. Like I feel like it's interesting. I feel like it's 
it's adding value to the market it's something that has never been done before etc etc I think that's everything for the local products that I want to talk about. And then let's move on to some international brands, at least the brands that you can buy online. Maraming resellers, ganyan, nagbibenta dito sa Shopee or sa Lazada na nagre-resell dito sa Philippines or as well as dun sa Sephora PH. So okay, for the international releases, I'm looking at Trend Mood 1, yung Instagram account na yun. Kasi doon ko nakikita yung mga new makeup releases, makeup news, sales, ganyan. If you wanna keep up with the international beauty scene, doon matignan. So let's go first with this one. This is Colourpop Hello Kitty Collection. So, Colourpop released for the holiday collection a Snow Much Fun palette, which is $16. Mini Glitterly Obsessed quad in $20, Lux Glosses na tatlong shades, there's $9 each, and then yung 4th Ray Beauty na Peppermint Cookie Lip Care Kit for $20, that's a lip scrub and a lip mask, and then they also have a 2 powder blushes at $12 each, and then you can also buy the full collection for like $98. I am not really interested in this because parang Colourpop has been releasing so many collections left and right. Every week, they were releasing something new, and I feel like they're bound to repeat themselves with just like different themes, different packaging. I feel I'm not at all interested with the color story, kahit na it's a small, cute eyeshadow palette, kahit sobrang mura niya lang yan, kahit nine shades lang yan. I, I'd rather use my single eyeshadows or the eyeshadows from my different palettes because I feel like I can. I can duplicate this with my own collection. It's not something that made me super attracted. Like, parang it didn't grab me, it didn't caught my eye. Like, it didn't make my heart skip a beat. <laughs> didn't make my heart skip a beat. I didn't do a double take. I didn't, you know, it just didn't. I'm just like, keep kept on scrolling up when I saw this. So, hindi talaga attracted dito. But if it's something that you like, go ahead. Um, I know that maybe a lot of you like Hello Kitty as much as I like Hello Kitty too, but I'm not going to be buying this just because it's Hello Kitty. The next product that I want to talk about, this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream Color Dip. <sighs> so this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream Color Drip Lip Cream. Okay, and they release how many shades? Five shades. And how much is this? Um, Nineteen dollars each, so one thousand pesos. But pagdating na sa for PH, it's probably more than one thousand pesos. And they release, they are releasing this on the de December tenth, so it's released na. Um, they have five shades, so we have fruit snacks, which is a berry red cookie jar, na chocolate caramel, mauve wives, which is a rosy mauve. Their honey waffles, which is the honey butter brown, and as well as yung Fenty Glow, which everybody loves this shade. And I do too. I love Fenty Glow. I love honey waffles. Like, sila yung pinaka gusto kong shades out of all the fives. Um, it feels like a pigmented lip gloss, but I already have, as I've mentioned earlier, I already have pigmented lip gloss, and that is from Gostera more affordable <laughs> may not be the same formula it may not be as shiny or whatever but i'm fine with glucera i'm fine with 200 pesos versus like 1000 thousand peso plus na lip gloss so i i like it but i can i can say no i can pass this on but maybe you like it you know i'm not really sure about the f uh, formula because honestly yung gloss bomb ng fenty beauty hindi ko ganun ka Bet. Hindi ko siya ganang ka gusto. Maybe it's because of the pigmentation and they release pigmented glosses. But I'm not willing to spend 1,000 pesos on a lip gloss. For 400 pesos na lang, I'm starting to choke already. But you know, 1,000 pesos is like too much. It's too much. I like the packaging for sure. It looks cute and amazing. But hindi lang talaga ako. I just don't want to spend the money. <laughs> That's why I want to do the video. I'm just willing to talk about them, but not really willing to spend on them 
the last one that I want to talk about this is the elf camo CC cream so this is like uh, I feel like are they releasing something? It reminds me so much of the It Cosmetic CC Cream for some reason. But I am looking at it. It's a color correcting cream for a natural looking complexion but with medium to full coverage and SPF 30 with hydrating with skin loving ingredients Dao, which has peptides and niacinamide. It has 20 shades and then $14 each. So 700 pesos. But with patong na mga resellers, siguro maabot yun ng 1,000 pesos. I don't know. So I hope that someone resells it here in the Philippines because I would love to try this one out. The coverage is medium to full coverage daw, but natural looking lang daw yung finish niya. So I am willing to try this out. Medium to full coverage, I am fine as long as dewy yung finish. Um, I haven't had a lot of experience with products like that because most of the time pag dewy finish it's mostly like light to medium coverage lang. I wish that there are some local brands who would release something like this because parang parati na lang matte finish, full coverage, parang the stuff that I do not like sa complexion products. I'm leaning towards more on the light to medium coverage na dewy yung finish or normal yung finish basta hindi matte and full coverage i'm I, that's that's more of my jam i am i want to try this out really i want to try this out i am curious but i just want to finish up one foundation first before buying something new because there are many foundations and it takes a while for them to finish this okay so this is the final one that we're gonna talk about today this is juvia's place la mariposa eyeshadow palette for 15 dollars Fifteen dollars, six fifty ish, mga ganon. Seven hundred fifty pesos. Seven hundred fifty pesos palato. If you can see here, it's a nice, really cute six pan eyeshadow palette. I love the color story. I love the mix of the blue, the yellow, the hindi ako ganon ka obsessed doon sa dalawang shades na browns. I'm really looking forward doon sa quad ng blue, yellow, orange, and pink. Like I love that. I love that color story. Na inspire ako whenever I look at this. Parang na isip ko na agad yung looks na gusto ko gawin when I'm looking at this, and I wanna buy it. But I know that I can do this out with my collection as well. So it may not be exactly the same, but the vibe is there. So looking at the swatches, they look so amazing. Um, this is a collaboration with Juvia's Place and Yami Angelina. Di ko kilala. I don't follow her. Really pretty, my glitters din siya, pero ayon. Uh, I'm really, I, I really like this. I hope that someone releases like smaller pan shadows dito talaga sa Philippines. Ah, uh, I can only imagine. <laughs> I love this color story. I'm so inspired with this color story. I wanna get it, but I know I feel like I can dupe this out, so I'm gonna skip it. So that's it, everyone. That's it for the new for today's episodes of cute makeup releases. Shall I add? Will I add it to cart? Question mark. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed chatting new makeup releases with me. Are there any products ba na you wish na I talked about? Um, honestly, nahirap nahirapan na ako i-compile itong list of products ko. So, but if you want me to talk about something, just tag me. Just tag me on my Instagram. It's at Carrotstick Beauty. Let me know if you want me to talk about it. I'll include it in the next list of items that I will talk about in the next episode. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Give this a like if you did. Because if you did enjoy it, I will do another... I will make this into a series. So ayun, let me know. Um, if there's anything that you want me to talk about, what are your thoughts about these makeup releases? Did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? Is there anything that you also found boring, uninterested, or is there anything that you also found, you know, amazing, very interesting? And ayo, and thank you so much for watching this, guys. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.